T to the V to the L to the I to the N to the E, TV line. So Peggy's heading off to Hollywood. She is, she's selling out. Set the scene for me. So it's six months after the first season is finished and um, she gets asked to go out to join Jarvis, who's already there, working with Howard Stark, who's decided kind of in a Howard Hughes-esque way to create his own movie studio. And also it's, it's because she's spent the time in the first season grieving over Steve, she's kind of over it in a way. She's been able to let go. So she's emotionally in a better place and she's free to pursue other romantic interests. Such as? Um, well, we haven't cast him yet, so I'm not sure. Uh, but I there think... There may be more than one here. There may... Ooh, Peggy. There may be more than one. There may be, there may be someone from her past, from the first season. And someone kind of... from her future. Really? I'm just saying it will happen in the future because oh, I haven't met him yet. Time travel? Time no, 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 not a time travel thing. You're just confusing everything. Captain America James. already time traveled. I, we're not trying to get into that. We're area. not. No, no, no. He's plowed yeah. that far. Away. When you heard Peggy was going to Hollywood, were you like, "Oh my God, what about me? Am I coming along too?" They told me I was coming along oh, okay, too, so, so that was that was handy. That took some of the suspense <laughs> so it out. Took of it. a little bit of the suspense out, yeah. But I'm kind of excited for Jarvis to be in Hollywood land because I can see pretty clearly that he he will not approve. Of any, I mean, he never approves of anything that Howard does, but I'm pretty sure he won't approve of movie stars. <laughs> I sincerely doubt he'll approve of the heat or the palm yeah. trees or the open top cars yeah. or the general laid backness. And that will create, I think, a quite nice kind of comic um, value to the piece. It's going to be hopefully a lot, a lot funnier this season. And also, we get, you know, it's, it's 47 in LA, so. Think LA Confidential, think Chinatown, those kind of film noir -y sort of things. Yeah. So hopefully we'll be able to sort of get into a bit of that as well. Yeah. Wasn't a sure thing the show was going to even come back. And a lot of people were really pleasantly surprised and said a lot about ABC's sort of love of this franchise. Mm -hmm. um, were you on pins and needles waiting and how did you feel when the news came in? Yeah, I mean I, I was. I mean, the, I'm quite active on social media so I knew I that the response from the fans was so positive and um, so that gave me hope and I also knew Marvel really wanted to go again and uh, a lot of the people that we worked on it was, it was kind of a, it was, it was more than just a job. For, for a lot of us it was a, a labour of love. We loved it. We loved doing it so we wanted to be able to chance to do it again and also to be able to make it better than the first and the kind of rectify situations or aspects of it that fans weren't kind of too pleased about. Um, so when I heard, unfortunately because of the time difference, I was in London but I woke up to the whole world having known before me um, and but it was it was a, it was a, a complete relief but an, an, a welcomed surprise.